Hi, I'm Worm. Welcome to Worm Studio. I've been meaning to draw something cow related now for a while, and as I was sketching around, I came up with this literal strawberry cow, a cowberry. So this colored sketch is the one I decided to go with. I have this big frame in my room that's been in need of a new piece of art now for quite some time, so I thought why not use the opportunity? I started by taping two A3 sized sheets of watercolor paper together, which is actually still a bit too small for the frame I have, but it's close enough. Then I got right into sketching. I used my kneaded eraser to lighten up the sketch a little and jumped right into watercolors. I really like the combination of light pink and light green, so I didn't go with bright red for the cow spots, but rather a salmon pink and more of a turquoise green for the leaves. I wanted the ears and nose to be a bit brighter though, so you can tell them apart from the rest of the spots. For the eyes, I had the idea that they're just bigger strawberry seeds, so they're this dark brown instead of just pure black. I switched to my water brush because I have more control with it and gave everything a second coat. Here's where I added in the little seeds. For the strawberries, I used the light red and bright green so that they would look more like actual strawberries and not the same color as the cowberry. I shaded under the leaves and the right side of the berry, gave it the same color seeds as the cow, and brightened up the green. I do go over the seeds later on again, since they spread out a bit.
Back to the cowberry. I gave the spots another layer, deepened the pink of the nose and the ears, and darkened the horns and eyes. Then I started to shade. Making the pink of the nose and ears darker, defining the edges of the leaves, shaded the underside of the horns, and highlighted them with yellow. Since I'm right-handed, it just comes naturally to me that the right side is in shadow, meaning the light is coming from the top left. So I shaded everything with a pinkish red that I think will get less light, the right side of the cow under the ear fold, under the leaves, and so on. I darkened up the eyes into little seeds, leaving a little highlight in the eye seeds. To shade the white of the cowberry, I used grey and also made some shadows under the eye seeds to show that they stick out further than the small seeds.
Then I did the second strawberry, but you already saw me do this before, so let's just speed through this one. Now on to the spilled milk in the background. I also shaded this in with gray and it honestly didn't take much. Just a clean sharp line for the left and a darker, thicker line on the right with a little bit of washed out shading to show that it's an actual puddle of milk and not just a flat surface. I thought the corners looked a little too plain, so I added in some tiny milk splatters. Since now the background had this outline, I thought maybe the cowberry should also have an outline but I didn't really like how it was looking, so I decided to just do it on the shadow side and blend it out a little to create further depth. I added in the light pink border and with that the painting was done. If you enjoyed watching me paint, I'd appreciate it if you consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching.